Hey everybody, welcome back to Josh's Cookhouse where nothing's off the table. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reverse sear the Big Daddy New York Strip Steak. Let's head over to the table and I'll show you how to season it. Well, here it is. This is the Big Daddy New York Strip Steak. Um, these are the seasonings you're going to need. We got kosher salt, onion powder, and um, of course, black pepper. And then we also got a meter probe here that we're going to use to keep to uh, continuously monitor the internal temperature of our steak when it's on the grill. Uh, first up, I like to do the kosher salt. That way I can keep track of, I can see how much I'm using. And because this is such a thick steak, I'm going to do all along the edges as well when seasoning it. All right, now that we got this Big Daddy New York strip steak all seasoned up, we're gonna use a meter probe. Uh, the reason why I'm using a meter probe is just so we have a continuous monitoring of the internal temperature of the steak. Um, another benefit is then you don't have to open up your grill a bunch of times. You can just either check this out or if you have the app on your phone, you can watch it on there. Um, now, I already got the grill preheated to about 250, 300 degrees, and we'll set this steak in indirect heat until it reaches about 115, 120 degrees internal. Well, we're ready to put our steak on the grill. Um, it's about 300 degrees right now, and we're gonna put it um, in the indirect heat. So don't put your steaks over the flame. That would be direct heat. All right, so as you can Obviously tell it's winter out and the cold is um, affecting the way I'm reverse searing my steaks a little bit. So they're taking a little bit longer than I'd like to get done. So we're just gonna move them a little bit closer to the heat source. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half and we finally have hit 115 degrees in our Big Daddy New York strip. So we're gonna take it off and let it rest. While that sits off and rests, we're going to crank our temp up on the grill so we can give these give the steak us here. Well, we got the grill up to 600 degrees and we're ready to put on that Big Daddy New York strip. Now we're going to let that sear for a minute and a half per side and we'll even get the fat cap in there for a little bit. And I also took out the meter probe at this point because uh, 600 degrees is too hot for them. Now that we got our steaks here, we're gonna bring it inside and let it rest for 15 minutes. Well, there you have it. We just reversed here at Big Daddy New York strip steak. Um, now it's time for a reveal. Uh, for those of you who don't like your steak rare, medium rare, just so you know, you can cook yours longer. This is just how I prefer mine. Zoom in on it. Well, this New York strip steak turned out exactly how I like it. And uh, it's super juicy and we'll see how tender it is. Mm. Yeah, that, that's super tender and juicy, and you just got to try it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget, you can find all my full recipes down in the description below in the link to joshescookhouse.com. Till next time.